Hi guys, this is Peter Rodner with an app tutorial for Magisto. Uh, so Magisto can be found on the Google Play Store. You're just going to type in Magisto and you'll have this application right here. Uh, so it's a super easy app for you guys to use in your C2 classes and it makes really great videos. So what you're going to do here is when you first log on, they might ask if you want to sign up or link it to either your Facebook account or Google Drive account. You don't have to. Um, as you can see here for this tutorial, I'm just logged in as a guest. Um, and pretty much you can just use all the functions still. So here on the top right hand corner, it'll ask you to create a video. And it's going to look for all the videos and images that you have on your tab. And all you have to do is click the videos that you want to add. So I'm going to make a nice little video of me and my dog Pot. We were out for a walk one day. So if you notice, as I click these videos, I'll have a little blue check mark. And then they will tell me up top how many videos I have and how long my video is going to be. So here, if I click these three videos, I have almost two minutes. I suggest that you don't have your students make really long videos. About two minutes will still take probably around five to ten minutes for it to actually create. So other than that, you can also add some images. So I have a few pictures of me and Pot walking around, so I'm going to add some of those. Okay. So once you've decided your images as well as your videos that you want, you're going to get the option when I press next to choose a theme. Now based on the theme that you choose, uh, the application will then give you the option to choose some type of music. So for example, if I choose this indie theme, it's then going to give me indie theme music that I can then choose from in order to add to my video. Now with the music, you won't be able to hear any sound or recording that was with the original video. So I really like this idea because then students don't have to focus on speaking in the video. They can just act out the images or ideas that they want to show. If you do want, they're welcome to choose from um, their own music selection. If they have maybe a video or a sound that they really like, they can obviously add that themselves. So let's just pick one of these videos. And so now they'll just ask you to create a title. So you can just call it whatever you like. Then it'll just confirm that these are the selections. So I have a video with uh, about two minutes, three videos. I have four photos. And then my theme is indie with the soundtrack Bear Scout Animals. Now what's great for this is that um, it will take some time for them to make the movie. But while it's making the movie, you don't have to wait for it. Uh, students can easily just log out and they can go and um, do their PowerPoint or do their script. Uh, keep in mind that the video has no speaking parts to it, so therefore they're going to want to have some type of speaking or presentation with this video. So just to show you a, a video that I made uh, already, it took about five to ten minutes for it to actually load up and uh, get prepared. So here's a video of me and my dog out on a walk. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that video of me and my dog Pot. Um, so as you can tell, it's really taken a really boring video and it's put together with all the images and it's a really great output. Uh, I think your students will really enjoy watching it also. If you have any questions, you're welcome to leave them in the bottom of the comment box and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. So I hope you have a great class.